Restored Republic via GCR as of July 11, 2017. Compiled by Judy Byington. Judy Note, in all your giving, don't forget the sex abused, neglected, and exploited children around the globe and right next door, for they are the future of our humanity. A. Situation Report Checklist. 1. Everything is scripted on a minute-by-minute -minute basis. 2. Nothing is a coincidence. 3. There are no intentional delays. 4. The release could come at any given moment due to the minute-by-minute -minute basis of the procedure. B. TNT Showtime W slash Ray Ren 98 CC Notes. 1. Iraqi PM Abadi has formerly announced the liberation of Mosul. 2. All indications was that the RV would happen this week. 3. If you are going for contract rates get an appointment as early as possible. C. Intel Situation Report, Checklist, GCR slash RV Intel Citrep. 1. Banks, paid staff were pissed off that their lives have been put on hold for several weeks again. Same thing happened last summer. 2. Military, soldiers don't care how long it takes. Protecting Americans was what they do. They're indifferent, honestly. 3. Transaction, front screen rates were solid on all currencies. All infrastructure was ready. Point of exchange front of the house changes were now seen on bank branches. 4. Security, concerns have diminished since Israel came on board. Mossad managed ISIS. We believe that since ISIS was obviously being eliminated from the entire Middle East, Israel just surrendered. Sad correlation, but true. 5. Trump administration rule was fast coming to an end. His exit has much deeper meaning with the RV release than anyone knows. We believe his entire family was singing for their post-RV supper, with Russia and China controlling every move. 6. Iraq President Abadi made the defeat of ISIS official announcement in Mosul on Sunday morning, and then made another on top of the first saying more time was needed, confusing. We believe he did this intentionally as requested by the Chinese elders to catch Western currency traders ready to front-run trades on inside information on Middle East markets. 7. It worked. Massive arrested came this morning July 10 in London and Germany making vast counter FX futures bets as gold would spiral downward after the RV started. 8. Everything was scripted. At this stage no event was coincidental, or delayed. Even Trump's tweets. There was a benevolent reason for all that appeared to be chaos. 9. Release can come at any time after 6 p.m. EDT Monday. July 10. 10. Release is structurally more optimal Tuesday, July 11 since New Zealand, 10 a.m. NZST, begins the International Business Week. D. RV Intelligence Report News Alerts, Citrep. 1. This is an invisible global game of thrones with all 209 nations on board. 2. Pump fakes are still being used as a method to catch cabal traders. 3. HSBC is still proceeding with their rollout on a minute-by-minute -minute basis. E. GCR Intel Situation Report, Global, GCR slash RV Intel Citrep, Monday, July 10, 2017. 1. HSBC says they're still proceeding with their rollout in a minute-by-minute -minute mode. 2. The banks, military and government leaders don't know what time for sure. But, they all know it's coming in a blink and to be ready. 3. Our military dropped its secrete DEFCON level down to 3 again today July 9, which initially was thought to be a bad sign that security was standing down, but now believed to be because major threats were removed and all 209 nations were on board. 4. A trace sharp source tonight July 9 said the NPTB used the imminent liberation of Mosul as a pump fake to catch Arab currency traders from jumping the gun on their Sunday positions when markets opened in Dubai. They did the same thing with July 2nd to 3rd here in the USA earlier in the week. Caught a bunch of latent cabal traders jumping the RV gun. 5. Zimbond notes equals HSBC slash military at redemption compounds and is an unlimited exchange. 6. RV currencies equals all participating banks worldwide at off-site locations slash on-site points of redemption and will include sovereign rate redemption options. 7. 
the same 800 hashtag will get you to both redemption options. They'll just reroute you internally via the call centers. No secondary 800 hashtag is necessary. 8. All bond notes and revaluing currencies will paid for by the Chinese elders who caretake the majority of the global gold supply via AIIB, their greater good sovereign banking entity in Beijing. You can ask and receive any number your heart desires. But like a hot buffet plate, if your eyes grow bigger than your stomach there's going to be a lot of discomfort later. So be wise in your request. You only have one shot at this and you'll be living with the results across multiple generations of your family. 9. Thankful it's finally ending. Infinite abundance was one hard, painful lesson to learn. F. TNT thoughts, it will be worth it. 1. The CBI meets July 10th at the G20. Supposed to be ready to sign off on the agreed contracts associated with the value of currency ECT. 2. Tony said several years ago that it will come out one to one and it has. It can take a day or up to a week even to raise in the value. They sign papers July 10th and it might need to wait until after that. 3. On open mic it was said there are sovereign rates which are highest than contract rates, China, and then street rate, international. 4. Wait for your appointment at the exchange center, it will be worth it. Banks will be lowest international rate with no negotiations. 5. Some people say that the sovereign rates are only for countries however there are some groups that are sovereign. You can ask for sovereign rates. All they can do is say no. 6. Next is the contract rates which are the Chinese rates, then the street slash bank rates. 7. If you want to make a deal for hire it was said you need to go to your appointment for the exchange center. Otherwise you will get the lowest rate. G. Zap Report, White Rabbit, Weekly Zap, The Office of Poofness. 1. Susan, the information regarding the prosperity packages stays pretty consistent to last week's update. Curiously optimistic for landings this week. Keep your ears open for RV activity. 2. Zap, truth is prevalent in the internet, along with lies, misdirection, and misinformation. It behooves us to seek the truth amidst the fluff and practice discernment. You will be bombarded with an overload of info. Watch for reference points that say the info has substance. If it is not logical, chances are you are going down the wrong path. 3. The time is here. Changes and redemption funds are in escrow awaiting release. 4. Some royals have been paid. Others have received down payments. 5. There are hysterical prices being quoted on historical assets, ranging from $30 to $30 trillion. Currency rates are different and much more realistic. 6. The powers that control these things will not allow thousands to have a trillion or ten in their pocket and then watch the destruction of economies because of that. 7. Instead there is a structure with a down payment of some amount, with the balance spread over time and projects. No projects? Do not expect much. 8. Although the blackout is still on, activity tells the story of work being done on behalf of our humanity. 9. My recent talks with the Chinese Foundation have gone very well. They are funding three organizations, not just ours. The amount of funds would buy many countries many times over. They care about the funds being used for the right reasons and in a structured manner to prevent chaos. H. Nesra. Full disclosure coming soon, full interview The National Economic Security and Reformation Act, NESRA, provides major benefits to Americans. The Federal Reserve and IRS go by, by, and the World Gold Standard, Global Currency Reset, Constitutional Reset, and new U.S. Treasury notes are instigated through use of the Global Settlement Funds and Prosperity Packages. NESRA 1. Establishes new presidential and congressional elections within 120 days after Nesra's announcement. 2. Monitors elections and prevents illegal election activities of special interest groups. 3. Ceases all aggressive, U.S. government military actions worldwide. 4. Establishes peace throughout the world. 5. Eliminates the Federal Reserve System. 6. Restores financial privacy. 7. 
forgives credit card, mortgage, and other bank debt due to illegal banking and government activities. 8. Abolishes income tax and the IRS. 7. Creates flat rate non-essential, new items only, sales tax revenue for the government. 8. Increases benefits to senior citizens. 9. Returns constitutional law to all our courts and legal matters. 10. Retrains all judges and attorneys in constitutional law. 11. Initiates a new U.S. Treasury bank system in alignment with constitutional law. 12. Creates new U.S. Treasury currency, rainbow currency, backed by gold, silver, and platinum precious metals. 13. Initiates first phase of worldwide prosperity distribution of vast wealth which has been accumulating for many decades. 14. Releases enormous sums of money for humanitarian purposes. 15. Enables the release of new technologies such as alternative energy devices. 16. And much, much more. Seven days before his murder President John F. Kenney said, there is a plot in this country to enslave every man, woman, and child. Before I leave this high and Nobel office, I intend to expose this plot. God bless the restored republic. I, Fulford Report, 19 of G20 leaders are bankster slaves, Fulford excerpt. 1. Last weekend's G20 meeting of so-called world leaders was very revealing because 19 out of 20 of them publicly endorsed the fraud-based global warming scam known as the Paris Accords. This happened despite the fact carbon-based global warming is being proved both legally and scientifically to be a fraud. 2. Michael Mann, the author of the global warming hockey stick graph that is used by the UN-endorsed IPCC is facing a jail sentence after refusing a judge's request to show how he got the data to back his claims the world is rapidly warming. Meanwhile, another scientific study showed that almost all the warming recorded in recent years is the result of the temperature data being raised after it was measured. 3. The only leader who has publicly renounced the global warming fraud is U.S. President Donald Trump and that is why Hazarian Mafia-controlled media portray him as isolated. 4. According to CIA, Pentagon, and other sources the military and intelligence apparatuses of Russia, the United States and China are all cooperating despite any hostile posturing by these countries' respective politicians. 5. This may be why Pope Francis felt the need to call up a journalist last week to issue the following statement, I am afraid there are very dangerous alliances between powers who have a distorted view of the world, America and Russia, China and North Korea, Russia and Assad in the war in Syria, http colon slash slash www.cnsnews.com slash news slash article slash cnsnews.com hyphen staff slash pope hyphen francis hyphen says hyphen america hyphen has hyphen distorted hyphen vision hyphen world. 6. The G20 is calling for world governance centered on the IMF. The head of the IMF is not selected by the same Hazarian bloodline group that selects the head of the UN, the World Bank etc. The IMF and its backers have been erecting gates to the Temple of Baal otherwise known as Satan, at their meetings. 7. Note that the, very dangerous alliance, the Pope is referring to includes Russia, China, the US, North Korea and Syria. These countries are all moving away from bloodline control even though Russia still has a Rothschild figurehead president. Actual Russian sources this writer has contacted, though, all agree it is the Russian Orthodox Church and not Putin that runs Russia. A. Pope Francis is deluded if he thinks a P2 Freemason selected person like Marco de Moro is going to be anointed the leader of a bloodline controlled world government. 9. Francis is being roiled by yet another Vatican scandal, in this case a drug-fueled gay orgy that was busted by the police after neighbors complained about the noise. This could lead to yet another cardinal being fired, CIA sources say. 10. Yet another former Satanist has come forward with testimony about large-scale human sacrifice. 11. Last week Germany announced that it broke up a pedophile ring that involved 87,000 people. You can be sure many of the people doing child sacrifices were scooped up in that bust. 12. In the US the final cleanup of the Hazarians continues. 
Former President Barack Obama's Attorney General Loretta Lynch has been giving detailed testimony about the crimes of her former Clinton-slash-Bush bosses, CIA, and other sources say. 13. Last week as a result Barack Obama sought political asylum in Indonesia, but was denied it according to White Dragon Society sources in Indonesia. 14. CIA sources in Europe confirm this and say Obama is going to have to go back to the US in order to be debriefed on who really controlled his presidency. Recall that when Obama was first elected he kept saying, thank you Satan, in reverse speech. 15. The WDs makes it clear that the only people who are being targeted are the ones who have been engaged in mass murder through biological weapons, nuclear terror, human sacrifice, illegal war etc. J. TNT Bank Appointment Pastor John, It Was Real, Mon. PM TNT Thoughts Slash Bank Story. 1. I, Pastor John, am one who had a bank appointment. It was great. Better than we thought it could be. 2. To the doubting Thomas who might be among us, it was real. 3. Make sure you are prepared to talk to your exchange officers politely. Have everything ready. Make sure your I's are dotted and T's are crossed. 4. Be prepared to be treated professionally. The banks are prepared to talk to all of us. This is business to them and they have a caring for their depositors. They know why you are there and will help you in putting your accounts in order. You may be surprised at the integrity of the banks. Wow. K. Iraqi PM Abadi formal announcement on the liberation of Mosul. 1. The White House, President Trump's statement on the liberation of Mosul source, White House. The White House. Office of the Press Secretary. For immediate release. Statement from President Donald J. Trump on the liberation of Mosul. Today. Iraqi security forces, supported by the United States and the Global Coalition, liberated the city of Mosul from its long nightmare under the rule of ISIS. We congratulate Prime Minister Haider al-Abadi, the Iraqi security forces, and all Iraqis for their victory over terrorists who are the enemies of all civilized people. We mourn the thousands of Iraqis brutally killed by ISIS and the millions of Iraqis who suffered at the hands of ISIS. We grieve with the Iraqi people for the loss of the heroic soldiers and Peshmerga who gave their lives to restore life to their country, and we honor their sacrifice. We in the United States and the Global Coalition are proud to stand with the Iraqi security forces and all those who made this moment of liberation possible. We have made tremendous progress against ISIS, more in the past six months than in the years since ISIS became a major threat. The victory in Mosul a city where ISIS once proclaimed its so-called caliphate, signals that its days in Iraq and Syria are numbered. We will continue to seek the total destruction of ISIS. 2. The Baghdad Post, Iraqi PM Abadi declares victory from liberated Mosul The Baghdad Post on Monday July 10 Iraqi Prime Minister Haider al-Abadi declared the utter fall and collapse of ISIS statelet of terrorism in Mosul. 3. Bloomberg Honking horns hail the liberation of Mosul from the Islamic State. 4. July 10, 2017 TNT Good Times 1, PM Abadi announces full liberation to the world. 5. AP News, Iraqi troops push to clear last Mosul ground of IS militants. 6. Iraqi Prime Minister arrives in Mosul to declare victory over ISIS. End report. Full trans